peace to everybody out there. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, just wanted to come to y'all tonight with something a little different. Um, it's been on me to, to do this for a little while now, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, I've been intrigued with the scriptures, the Bible, the different books of the Bible, um, ever since I was young. So um, I've always been intrigued with uh, scriptures in the Bible, the different um, stories that I told there, um, and how the people handle themselves in those stories. Um, unless you do deep research, some of the things you're not going to know in the Bible um, and specific books. Um, so I encourage people, especially during these times, to read all of the books of the Bible. I'm actually doing that now. Um, started at Genesis. I'm up to, uh, what is it? Got through Job. I forgot what book I am, I'm in now because I jumped to Daniel. I just went into Daniel. Um, so I needed to get into Daniel to see some of the prophecy that's happening now. Um, I was very interested in Revelations, especially when I was young. And really now I'm revisiting it. So I'll be revisiting um, Revelation as well. So look, I'm just going to jump into it. Um, at this point, I'm not going to do any commentary uh, or interpretation at this point. I'm just going to read. Um, I do that now. Um, I have the Bible app that I use. And I put it on audio and I listen to it because um, a lot of times I don't have the physical time to read because it has a lot of stuff going on. So I take that time when I'm in the car, if I'm taking a, a commute or something somewhere, I'll put that Bible app on and get my um, listening slash reading time in. So. Tonight, I'm going to start with the book of Daniel, and we're just going to read some chapters. And like I said, uh, we're just going to read and see what these books say. I will suggest, um, after looking at this video, read on your own. Read the scriptures. Um, I like the King James Version. They had the... Um, different versions out there, but I like the King James Version um, myself. Um, sometimes in the different translations, um, things get pulled out or, um, to me, misinterpreted. If that works for you, do that. I, w I would say do that. But this is my personal preference. I like doing the King James Version. Sometimes you have to do a little bit more studying to understand what's going on. And that's what I would suggest, um, getting a Strong's Concordance, which actually tells you, and you can look up each word, um, gives you Greek, gives you Hebrew. Um, so you can actually see and understand what these words mean. It's not gonna give you an interpretation of the scriptures per se, but it will um, let you know what the word meant in Hebrew and Greek and into English to a certain extent. So um, either way you go, if you want a deeper understanding of the scriptures, I would suggest you at least get a concordance, um, Strong's Concordance. Um, if you want to get some commentary of the history and times and the land back then, um, when these events were happening, then you can know who the people are now and, uh, the region of where these stories happen, where the, of uh, these events happened, because I believe these were, I know they were literal, um, events that happened. So, um. Like I said, my new model, I don't believe I know. Just life experience, I know. Uh, 
the things that I know. I'll just put it like that. So I'm not going to hold you no longer. I'm going to go ahead and get into Daniel. And I'm starting at chapter 1. And just to give you a reference, Daniel is in between Ezekiel and Hosea. It's in between Ezekiel and Hosea in the Old Testament. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead along with it. The book of Daniel, chapter 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, king of Judah, king Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem, and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of God which he carried into the land of Shinar to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. And the king spake unto Espesnaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank. So nourishing them three years that at the end of end thereof, they might stand before the king. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names. For he gave unto Daniel the name of Beltel-Shaziar, and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah of Abednego. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Thereof he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not be might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into a favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, Daniel, I fear my lord, the king, who hath appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse likening than the children which are of your sort. Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. Then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Daniel, Hananiah, Meshael, and Azariah, prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days. And let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Then let our continences be looked upon before thee and the con continents of the children that eat the portion of the king's meat. 
and thou seest, deal with thou thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter and proved them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer and fattier and flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and give them pulse. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days, the king had said he should bring them in. Then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. And all and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. And Daniel continued even until the first year of King Cyrus. Chapter 2 And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dream, dreamed dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him. Then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have brought, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Then spake the Chaldeans of the king of Sirach, O king, live forever. Tell thy servants the dream, and we will show the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, The thing is gone from me. If ye will not make known unto me the dream, with the interpretation thereof, ye shall be cut in pieces, and your houses shall be made a dunghill. But if ye show the dream and the interpretation thereof, ye shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honor. Therefore, therefore show me the dream and the interpretation thereof. They answered again and said, Let the king tell his servants the dream, and we will show the interpretation of it. And the king answered and said, I know of certainty that ye would gain the time, because ye see the thing is gone from me. But if ye will not make known unto me the dream, there is but one decree for you. For ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me till the time be changed. Therefore, tell me the dream, and I shall know that ye can show me the interpretation thereof. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord, nor ruler that acts such things at any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. 
and it is rare it is a rare thing that the king required and there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh for this cause the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of babylon and the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain and they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. Then Daniel answered with the counsel and the wisdom of Arioch, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said unto Arioch, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Arioch made the thing known to Daniel. Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time, that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known unto Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions that they would desire mercies of God of heaven concerning the secret that Daniel and his followers should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed to Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered, and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removed the kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge unto them that know understanding. He revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with them. I thank thee and praise thee, O thou God of my fathers, who has given me wisdom and might, and has made known unto me now what we desired of thee, for thou hast now made known unto us the king's manner, matter. Therefore Daniel went in unto Arioch, whom the king had ordained to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus unto him, Destroy not the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, and I will show unto the king the interpretation. Then Arioch brought in Daniel before the king in haste and said thus unto him, I have found a man of the captives of Judah that will make known unto the king the interpretation. And the king answered and said to Daniel, whose name will, was Baltachazar, art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, the secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, and the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar, what shall be in the manner in the latter days? Thy dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. As for thee, O king, thy thoughts came unto thy mind upon thy bed, what should come to pass hereafter. And he that revealeth secrets maketh known to thee what shall come to pass. But as for me, this secret is not revealed for me for any wisdom that I have more than any living. 
but for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king, and that thou that thou mightest mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Thou, O king, sawest and beholdest a great image. This great image whose brightness was excellent stood before thee, and therefore was terrible. The image head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, was smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken into pieces together, became like the shaft of the summer, threshing floors, and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain, and fill the whole earth. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art the king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee kingdom, given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And whosoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the fields, and the fowls of heaven have he given unto thy hand, and have made thee ruler over them all. Thou art this head of gold. And after thee shall rise another kingdom inferior to thee, and a third and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as so much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdued all things. And as iron that breaketh all these shall it break in pieces and bruise. And where 